everybody needs an advocate. Because I'm not there 24-7. Families that have hemophilia mature faster. I've been feeling a lot of anxiety lately. I'm so tired of being strong. To understand how far we've come helps you appreciate where we are now. No is just no for this person. Somebody's going to say yes sooner or later. And it helps you understand that there are more steps to be taken in the future. You're the first person I've met with a bleeding disorder. Let's fight the disease and not the people who have it. We're going to start with our first panelist. We have C.Y. Harrington. Hello, C.Y. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Tell us a bit about your knee. I mean, we can see here that you have a prosthetic, so you've gotten an amputation on the leg. Probably around seven years old, I just kept getting knee bleeds. I was riding a bike, and I had fell off the bike, which resulted in my right knee bleeding again. Getting the medicine was untimely, and it resulted in my knee being attractive for a couple of years. Over those years, I had several surgeries. But my fourth surgery, my arteries and um, blood vessels become like needles and they cut off the circulation in my foot, which resulted in the option for amputation. It was tough just to know that I'm about to face a big change in my life. You spoke to me on the phone very positively about your experience going to Camp One O'Clock. How did camp help you with your independence? Being able to infuse yourself, that's a really big thing at camp. Just being more active also. You know, having that mentality of, I can do this. She is a, a mom of three boys. Her oldest and youngest have uh, severe factor nine deficiency. Please welcome Charity Meadows. It's been an interesting experience, trying to find a new normal. Everything was going smooth as could be. You know, we were on an infusion schedule, and yeah, I felt like we were pros. It's gone from twice a week, three times a week, infusion to seven shots a day. I, I, I didn't even know how to, to even approach it to make it like, easy for him. It's like there's numbers in my head all the time and I hated math. That's all I do now. It's just like there's constant numbers just running through my head. You feel like you're walking a tightrope trying to keep it all together and moving, you know, forward. In the beginning I feel like you're just worried about the, your children and wanting to give them the best that you can. And you're like, well I don't have the time to exercise or do things that you've enjoyed before. Your full-time job is taking care of your children with hemophilia. But now that we feel like we've got things under control, um, it's definitely important for us as moms and dads to take care of ourselves. She is an actress, comic, and advocate for people living with systemic onset juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, Nicole Dalton. There she is, hi Nicole. Rheumatoid arthritis is when the body attacks all of your joints. It, is, it feels like someone has taken a nail gun and shot it into your joints and then you also have the worst flu of your life. There are so many other beautiful attributes. Those were just to name a few. And the flares were horrible. I was doing a show in high school. I had a flare up at the show and my little pack of friends roll me up in a, a blanket after the show like a, like a little burrito and just put me over their shoulder and carry me to the back of the car, lay me down. There's no separating my illness from my, my life. They're intertwined. Someone asked me how I best advocate, and I said it's by staying alive. So after I had my intestines removed, I um, started doing stand-up. And a lot of it is about my arthritis and living with it, and the insane testing that you have to go through to get to a diagnosis. Just bringing to light that really intrusive atrocities that, are, that are, we're forced to go through and putting them in a comedic way. I started um, something called Comedy for a Cure with the Arthritis National Research Foundation, and we have a great list of comics, and all of the money goes to grants for scientists who are doing cutting edge research. I don't want an expensive new Band-Aid. I want a <laughs> cure. To watch video from any of our previous Powering Through sessions, visit poweringthrough.org, or to learn more about National Cornerstone Healthcare Services, NCHS, visit nchswecare.com.